Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to create off canvas menu using pop-up in Elementor Pro WordPress before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using Elementor Pro plugin now go to dashboard on left side you see templates and then you see pop-up so click on it then you see add new button so click on it and then you see choose template type pop up and then you can add your name so i added name of canvas menu and then you see button so click on create template now you see library so close this now pop up open and then on bottom left you see setting so this is pop up setting so click on it now you see pop up setting setting style advanced and then you see layout width so you can increase or decrease width according to your requirement now i add 400 pixel now you see now close navigator and then you see height drop down you see fit to content now select fit to screen and then you see content position top and then you see position horizontal now select right now you see position change and then you see vertical position now you see vertical position top center and then bottom so we already selected content position top so this not effect and then you see overlay so this is our overlay enable close button enable now scroll down you see interest animation default so you can select interest animation and exit animation according to your requirement now you see drop down default so select and then you see different option now you see slide in right left now select and then you see exit animation now you can select option according to your requirement slide out left or right then you see animation duration so you can select according to your requirement and then you see general settings so click on it now you see title status drop and then on top you see style so click on it so now click on pop up and then you see background type if you want you can add background color if you want you can add background image and then you see border type border radius box shadow now you see background type and then you see classic so click on it so we are going to add background color now white so click on it so then you can select color according to your requirement so i added black and then scroll down you see overlay so click on it and then you see background type color now select so you can make it transparent now you see So you can do setting according to your requirement and then you see close button so click on it. Now you see position inside or outside so this is our close button. Now you see vertical position or horizontal position so you can select according to your requirement and then you see normal hover. Now you see color so click on it. Now you see close button black now make it white. Now you see close button visible so if you want you can add background color also and then you see hover so if you want you can add hover effect on close button and then you see size so if you want you can increase close button size now you see now here you see so you can do setting according to your requirement now scroll up you see advanced so click on it and then you see advanced so again click on it now you see show close button after if you want you can add second then you see prevent closing on overlay enable prevent closing on escape key enable disable page scrolling enable and scroll down you see margin and padding if you want you can add some padding now this link first now top 20 bottom 20 right 20 px left 20 px padding so you can add padding according to your requirement and then click on publish 
सो डोंट परफॉर्म एनी ऑपरेशन सो क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड क्लोज नाउ यू सी आर पॉपअप इज लाइव नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एड मेन्यू देन यू सी एड न्यू सेक्शन सो क्लिक ऑन इट नाउ यू कैन सिलेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर नाउ क्लिक ऑन प्लस आइकन ऑन लेफ्ट साइड यू सी सर्च विजट सो राइट एड मेन्यू वर्ल्ड प्रेस मेन्यू सो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप एयर नाउ यू सी मेन्यू इज एडिड देन ऑन लेफ्ट साइड यू सी ले आउट मेन्यू सो यू कैन सिलेक्ट मेन्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू रिक्वायरमेंट and then you see layout horizontal vertical drop down so select drop down and then you see toggle button now none now you see our menu is visible now on top you see styling if you want you can add sub menu indicator now click add insert now on top you see style so click on it and then you see setting normal hover active text color black now make it white background color transparent now you see and then you see hover text color red if you want now background color transparent now you see so you can add color scheme according to your requirement now go to active now red then click on background color make it transparent now you see if you want you can add some border radius border type now you see typography so select so you can select font family size weight transform style decoration according to your requirement now we are going to increase font size now you see 20 and then you see horizontal padding vertical padding now you see and vertical padding 25 so you can add horizontal padding vertical padding according to your requirement then scroll up you see advanced so click on it now you see padding now zero if you want you can add some padding margin according to your requirement and then click on update save and close now again go to pop up setting so click on it now you see width so reduce and then click on update now pop up ready go to wordpress dashboard on left side you see templates and then you see save templates so click on it now click on all then you see header so click on it now scroll down this is our off canvas menu so click on it edit with elementor now our custom header open then you see plus icon so click on it now you see search widget right here button so this is button drag and drop here now you see button type default remove tags now you see link and then you see dynamic tag so click on it and then find pop up so click on it again click on pop up and then you see action drop down select toggle pop up and then you see pop up all drop down select right here off canvas so this is our menu select and then you see alignment right now you see then you can select icon click on icon library now right menu select insert now you see scroll up you see style so click on it and then you see fix size typography normal hover text color black background type select make it transparent now you see now you see typography so click on it so you can increase size now you see so you can select setting according to your requirement where transform style decoration now you see hover effect if you want you can add hover effect and then click on update now update done go to website page and refresh the page 
now you see button is added so click on it now you see off canvas menu show by using pop up in elementor pro wordpress now close now you see slide in slide out effect now again click on menu now you see so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching